What's up, everybody? So I made a video recently talking about uh, Tank Davis and Connor Ben and their potential fight, which it looks like it's not taking place. And most boxing fans hope that it doesn't because we want to see these guys fight in a weight class that they fight in. No catch weights, no rehydration clause, none of that. That's that's at least that's what most fans like myself want to see. We want to see the best fight the best. And we want to see these fights happen in their in their weight classes. And throughout that whole video, I spoke on Tank Davis and Conor Ben. And the problem with most boxing fans today is they don't have the ability to comprehend and pay attention and actually listen to a video. And they have a certain hate for a certain fighter that they hear one positive thing about this fighter and then they and then they complain and make a whole like ridiculous comment that apps that makes no sense whatsoever i made a 10 minute video about connor ben and tank davis and this guy right here who apparently is developmentally delayed in a 10 minute video you took apart one piece that was relevant to what I was speaking on. It had nothing to do with Canelo. I wasn't trying to make a debate about Canelo. I'm not even a Canelo fan. I don't care about Canelo. But the problem with a lot of boxing fans is they believe that they know more than a boxer. They believe and they make accusations that are so off the wall that it comes off stupid so this guy says to me canelo is the king of silly quote unquote a side tactics what do you mean he was taking risk although credit for fighting bivol with no rehydration that usual crap but honestly that whooping was a cherry pick gone wrong and I lost the respect I gained for Canelo in that fight when it was blatantly obvious that they planned a robbery the whole time. Had it not been a master class in one-sided schooling by Bavall, had it not been a master class in a one-sided schooling by Bavall, those who argue it wasn't a chair pick don't remember how the odds were. Five to one. So let me just tell you because... Who I don't want to show his name on there because I, if he has a channel, I don't want to promote his channel. We here at the MOBC, we're only promoting channels that we respect, or 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 uh, pages that we respect who don't have a channel. So when you look at a, a a comment like this, you can see that there is a lack of intelligence here, right? Like you could tell. You could tell by the fanboyism in who, whatever boxer that he is in love with, there's a hate for Canelo. Again, I am not a Canelo fan. I make videos about boxing because I am a fan of the sport. I'm a fan of boxing, not the boxer. So you said credit to him for not doing rehydration clauses and fighting at the respective weight okay number one that's where you failed your argument you said it was a cherry pick gone wrong if it was a cherry pick he would have also made sure that he was gonna uh, uh, win by making a rehydration clause by um, putting all these stipulations in the contract he didn't do that he didn't do that. He took this fight because he wanted to prove to everyone that he could fight at 175 pounds without having to do rehydration because that's what he did with the Kovalev fight and he got criticized for the Kovalev fight and some people believe Kovalev took a dive in that fight. So in this fight, he wanted to prove that. Okay, that's number one. Number two, you said that he 
was going to get, the judges were going to rob him. They were blatantly going to rob him. First of all, how do you know that the judges were going to blatantly rob him? Tell us how. Tell us how you know this. Because you're so smart. And apparently you're not. Because guess who won that night? Guess who won? That's right. Baval beat Canelo. So your asinine comment about the judges were blatantly going to rob him. And he put on a master class. That's why they didn't rob him. He put on, I, I wouldn't call it a master class. To me, that's not a master class. You know what a master class is? Larry Holmes passes prime beating um, the, the, the one kid, uh, Ray Mercer. That's what you call a master class. Okay? This wasn't a master class at all. Do you, you, you get what I'm saying? Not at all. Not even close to being a master class. Because there were a lot of competitive rounds in this fight. He just lost to a bigger man. And kudos to uh, Bivol for beating Canelo. He gets full credit for beating Canelo. But to say that Canelo don't take risk. That's another failed attempt to prove me wrong. See, the MOBC is 49-0 and 0 in debates. So he fought Floyd Mayweather. Sugar Shane Mosley, Miguel Cotto, became the undisputed champion at 168 pounds, fought who was there. You cannot talk about his opponents, whether you like it or not. You can say that they're bad opponents and they weren't good and so on and so on. That's who the fighters were at the time. It's not his fault that Benavidez lost the belt on the scale. And the belts were up for, and one of the belts was up for grabs. You fight who was there. If you're going to criticize Canelo's opponents, do the same thing for Crawford at his undisputed run in 140 pounds. Because there wasn't exactly killers down there either. No, not uh, Imbago, Indango, or whatever his name is, Indango, uh, in, 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 Indango, in, in Pascal. Not exactly these the, the, the monsters that people claim to be. So let's not play that game. And then he got, and then Canelo was criticized saying he wasn't fighting none of the top guys. He beat Billy Joe Saunders and they beat Plant. And there were a lot of fighters picking those two to beat him. And again, I'm not a Canelo fan. I'm just showing what was there. You can't say the man's not taking any risk when he fought Kovalev. Kovalev, the guy who arguably beat Andre Ward in their first outing. So don't say that Canelo is, is a cherry pick gone wrong because you just make yourself sound foolish. Because obviously, if, if, if you're saying that Canelo feels, feels like Bivol was a cherry pick, that means you're saying that you know more than boxing than Canelo and us fans know more boxing than Canelo. See, real boxing fans knew that Bivol wasn't a cherry pick gone wrong because we know how talented Bivol is. And we, all, and, and we also know that Canelo knows how talented he is. Canelo just took the risk and thought that he could beat him. And that's all to it. Because what I believe is Canelo fought Bivol to test the waters. Fight somebody bigger than him. Fight without a rehydration clause. See what it's like. Somebody who really isn't a big puncher like Benavidez. But test the waters and see maybe, maybe, depending on how I do against Bivol, I'll take that shot against Benavidez. That's what I think happened. But to say that he's not taking risk and the judges was going to blatantly rob him and, 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 and it's a cherry pick gone wrong, it's so foolish. And a lot of boxing fans out there are foolish. I get a, 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 a plethora of silly comments and most of them I don't respond to. But I had to respond to this one because it kind of, I, I wanted to show people just how, in fact, how some boxing fans mentality is. And, and just how slow, slow this generation is going. The, the, the brain cells, the social media era, and, and, and following other videos out there with agendas. It got a lot of you boxing fans turning into idiots. Um, so this wasn't a cherry pick 
by far, Bivol wasn't a cherry pick gone wrong. The judges weren't going to blatantly rob him because if they did wanted to do that, they could have did that. They don't care about you and the fans. They don't care that Bivol. They wouldn't care that Bivol put on a master class, so you say. They wouldn't care. If they wanted to rob him, they would rob him. We've seen it done in boxing over and over again. So maybe you haven't been watching boxing that long. Maybe, I, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe you're a boxer and, and, and you feel like you box or something that you know more. No, you don't, you don't. Most of us on here who speak in boxing and talk in boxing has boxed before or currently boxing. And I can tell you right now from the eye test, ain't no way Canelo thought Bivol was a cherry pick. He would have to be, that means he doesn't know anything about boxing. This is the MOBC. Please like, share, and subscribe. Holla.